Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Daisy. Today I will show you how to create wavy text in Inkscape. With this feature you will be able to create beautiful custom designs in SVG or PNG format. Perfect to customize with sublimation or Cricut machine. If you don't have Inkscape yet, but you would like to start using it, I invite you to download it from inkscape.org. I'm going to link it in the video description below. Before I start with the tutorial, I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. Open Inkscape, go to File, click on Document Properties, and you will see this window. Here you're going to select the size of document you wish to work with. You can select letter size if you wish. I'm going to create a 12 by 12 inches working area. If you're going to create a custom working area, remember to change it from millimeters to inches. Close the window. And here is the working area, a 12 by 12 inches canvas. Now I'm going to type the text. Go to the left, click on the A, then click on the canvas and start typing. Separate each line. Now I'm going to resize each line. Go to the size bar above. Instead of millimeters, change it to inches. Click on the lock to lock it and type the measurements. Each line is going to be nine inches wide. All of the lines measure 9 inches wide, but I think the snowflake line is going to be wider than the rest. Now I'm going to select all of the lines, go to path, and here you're going to select object to path. Now go to object and click on group. Now go to path again and click on union. Now this one should be one layer. Now go to path and here you're going to click on path effects. You're going to see a window on the right. Now click on the plus sign and here you're going to select lattice deformation 2. Next Click on the second arrow from top to bottom. Here you're going to be able to see a blue tracing. Also you're going to see some gray diamonds and white little diamonds. Make sure you don't touch the gray little diamonds. To curve the text, we're going to be using the white little diamonds, the ones that are on top of the blue tracing. Click on one of those little diamonds and start creating the curve of your choice. You can stretch those little diamonds to the top or to the bottom. Remember, just grab the white little diamonds, the ones that are on top of the blue tracing. These designs are perfect for sublimation or to be used in Cricut Design Space Program or any other cutting machine program. And this one is ready. It looks beautiful. Now select it, go to path, click on object to path, then click on path again, Click on break apart. Now either select all of it or line by line. I'm going to do it line by line because I wish to add a different color to each line. Select the line, go to path and click on combined. 
do the same process for each line. If you wish to use only one color, you can do it all at once. I'm going to select line by line and I'm going to change the color using the color palette on the bottom. And it's ready. Now I'm going to show you how to save it in SVG and PNG format. First, I'm going to show you how to save it in SVG format. Go to File, click on Save As, select the folder where you wish to save it, name it, and on the second line, you're going to select Plain SVG and click on Save. Now you already have it on your computer. This is SVG format the design will be in layers. Now I'm going to show you how to save it in PNG format. Go to File, click Export. You'll be able to see a window on your right. And here, make sure you save it on 300 DPI. Click on the blue folder, select a folder where you wish to save it, name it, and click on Save. Now you already know how to create wavy text designs and how to save them in SVG and PNG format. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.